Hi guys, on this video, I am going to uh, teach you how to make a Dino Run game on Scratch. So, at the end of this video, you are going to be able to make a game just like this one. Let's get started. So the first step of making the Dino Run game on Scratch is basically making the dinosaur. So this is the dinosaur sprite. So it has four costume, normal costume, the shrink costume, and a jump costume. Let's start coding. Go to the code tab and start when green fry is clicked block. Motion block, go to X minus 110 and Y minus 95. And then add a switch costume to normal. And then for ever block, make a new variable. It's called graffiti for this sprite only. So set graffiti to zero. And then forever change gravity by minus one. Go to motion, change y by gravity. Go to controls, add an if then block. If y position equals minus 95. It will set gravity to zero. Let's test it. And it is working perfectly. Now, add another one. Green fries, click it. Add a forever block. Also, an if key up arrow pressed. And also, add another if block. If y position equals minus 95, then it will set gravity to 15. Also, go to looks, switch costume to jump because it is going to jump. And then go to controls at a wait one second block. And then add another if. So if Y position equals minus 95, then it will switch costume to costume normal. Let's test it. And it is working perfectly. Now, add an F then block. If key down arrow is pressed, then it will don't forget another add another if y position equals 95 and it will switch costume to shrink now add another if then block if key down arrow is not pressed then, it will switch costume to normal. Now, for the scoring system. When green flag is clicked, for error block, also make a new variable and it's called score. Set score to zero forever change score by one and wait 0 0.1 second let's test it every time I'm pushing I'm pressing the up arrow it will jump and every time I'm pushing pressing the down key down arrow it will shrink so Every 0 0.1 seconds, it will change score by one. Okay, so that is for for all for the dinosaur. 
on to the next step. So the next step is making the backdrop. So as you can see, there are backdrop sprites. Why didn't I use the backdrop? Well, the idea of the game is making the backdrop to scroll from here to all the way here. Since the backdrop doesn't have any motion locks, so we are going to turn the backdrop into a sprite because the sprite has a motion blocks. So let's start with backdrop one. When green fire is, click is click it, go to X zero and Y zero. Also, don't forget to add a go to back layer block. Okay, and then for ever loop. Well, change x by minus 5. Go to controls, add an if then block. So if y position equals minus 460, so if x, is, x position equals minus 460, then it will go to. x 460 and y still 0 we are going to do the same thing to backdrop 2 so I'm just going to drag this this code to backdrop 2 like that but this time change the x into 460 okay let's test it and as, as you can see the backdrop is scrolling perfectly there are no problems okay that is all how you make the backdrop So the next step is making the obstacles. The obstacles is just going to be spikes, okay? So I'm going to input a spike sprite. So this is the spike sprite, okay? Uh, it has two costumes. The one that is going to be sticking on the ground and the one that is going to be floating. Let's start coding spikes, okay? When green fries click it, go to X. 220 and y minus 50 also at a height block why hide because we are going to hide the original spikes and going to create clone of the original spikes so the clone is going to be shown but the original spikes is not going to be shown so go to controls at a forever block wait two seconds and then create clone of myself so every two seconds, it will create clone of the spikes. And then when I start as a clone, make a new variable and it's called type for this sprite only. Okay. Now set type to zero. When I start, start as a clone, set type to pick random. From 1 to 2 okay why 2 because it only has two sprites at uh, two costumes okay now uh, if then block so if type equals 1 it will Go to x220 and y minus 455 f45 also switch costume to costume one and then don't forget to add a show block okay now duplicate this switch the type into two and if the type equals two then it will switch costume to two the x is still 220 but the y is going to be changed into minus 40 drag it here it's going to go to the bottom like that and then add a repeat until block repeat until a y position uh repeat until y position is less than 
minus 220. I mean x position, okay? Sorry. So it will change. It will change x by minus seven, and after the x position is less than minus two hundred twenty, it will delete this clone. Let's test it. And as you can see, the spikes are working perfectly. Some are in the top, and some are in the bottom. Okay. I don't see any bottom let me see okay it's working so the idea of the game is making the dinosaur dodge the spikes but if we see it again every time the dinosaur is touching the spikes nothing happens so go to dinosaurs and another when green fries click it for error block if touching the spikes it will broadcast a new message and it's called game over and then add a stop the script block stop the script and then go to, go to events when I receive game over it will play sound scream one until done and then it will stop all go to spikes add another if then block inside the repeat until x position is less than minus 220 if touching dinos dinosaur then it will stop other scripts in sprite and also stop the script like that now we are going to make a new sprite so the sprite is just going to be a writing the color is red you can change the color into any color you want and it's going to be game over Make it bigger, put it in the middle, rename this into game over, set x to 0 and y 50 and then when green flags click it, it will hide, add a show block and when I receive game over, it will show clean up blocks. Now go back to the backdrops. When I receive game over, it will stop other scripts in sprite. Put it here. Okay, put it also in backdrop two, and let's test it. I'm just going to hide the variables. Go to dinosaurs, add the graffiti variables, also the type variable, but not the score, okay? I'm just going to put the score here. Let's play it in full screen. Green flies click it, okay? The spikes are moving perfectly, and the dinosaur controls are perfect. Every time I press the up arrow, it will jump, and every time I will, I press the down arrow it will shrink like this and if it touches the spikes it will play sound ah! scream until done and then the game over sprite will appear anyway guys that is all how you make dino run game on scratch thank you for watching this video and i hope you learned something new from this video the project link is in the description of this video if you want to remix it remix is allowed I hope we can make something, a game, that's just like this one, but better than mine, okay? Anyway guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends and family. See you next time! Bye!